Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Godus. I'm Nye, and we're gradually going to build our little civilization here up to 15 followers. And while they're going to be doing that, we are going to be gradually expanding the island itself so we can get uh, a few more uh, houses in here. I don't imagine they're going to be able to work back here much, unfortunately, because there's just not a lot of space available. But if I do push them out in this direction, we should be absolutely fine. And the game does want us to go in this direction, because we do have this thing over here. We did just recently get a power that'll allow us to mess with that. So we're going to let those guys build while I gradually open up this section, which should get us a couple more houses, too. Looks like they still have 13 seconds to go before the first one's going to be done. I just heard a house go up. So that little cartoonish little jingle when it happens. There's another one. Just watching our population just go up in the upper left-hand corner. It's working pretty well. And everybody's good. Let's get a couple other builders out because I do have some other houses ready to go. Other uh, populations. Let's collect an ability. Follow upgrade. Builders will repair shrines. I don't need to see what that is. That means that they're going to fix this whenever... Uh, Whenever I get it going. So we're going to gradually build our population over there. We still want to get our population up to 20 now. Kind of mess around down on this end of the world about as much as I can. Because we do not have any belief with which to mess with underwater areas. There we go. Tons and tons and tons of space. How about over here? Can we mess over here? At a certain point, remember, we can only mess with sand. So, like, for instance, this is grass up here. I can't mess with that. And when it comes to underwater, I can only mess with a couple layers down. Which, as you might guess, is kind of obnoxious. Oh, new power just popped up. What's this one? Breeders will generate belief. Big deal now. So now the houses will finally start generating belief, just like in Godus uh, 1.0. And all we have got to do is drag our mouse through, just like that. We can collect it all, which makes my life a lot easier. New power already. So it wants to take a look, I guess. I'm oh, sorry, we're at 25 out of 27. We're not quite there. That was bugging me to go pick that up. Now it's bugging me to pick it up. Followers will form friendships. This card will give your followers the confidence to go outside and socialize. Followers will actually do something now. Problem is, we uh, don't have the resources for that. We actually have to get some resources for that one, which will take a little while, unfortunately. So this is outside of my sphere of influence where I'm uh, trying to do stuff. So we're going to use some of our belief here. Clear away this little plateau. There's a treasure chest for me. It's going to give me mud bricks. Wonderful. And I could use those to give me access to another ability. The problem is... So we're up to... I uh, can't even use it yet. Hold on. I'm going to wait till we get that one. Shouldn't take very long, thankfully. And they are popping out some kids. I love, I love that. I love that sound effect. Because it's just, it's so cartoonish, you know? Just, boop, goes the weasel. Continuing to expand here while they're making the population for me. Get some belief. Oh, <laughs> I just got rid of the plot he wanted to use. Okay, we're 36 out of 35. What are you going to give me? Mud cabin, which gives me additional belief and additional followers. So we want to go in here. So we're going to try to use the mud bricks, but as you can see, it only fills up to a third of its way. So mud bricks will only make this 33% complete. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot take back stickers, as far as I'm aware, once you apply them. So that sticker will forever be on there. Okay. Let's get some more abodes coming up back here. I might be able to fill that in now. There we go. Oh, new one. Follower upgrade speed. So we're getting just all of these powers. But the... Well, not not really 
powers, per se. But we're getting all of these upgrades, but the problem is we don't have the, uh... We don't have the stickers for them. Kind of an issue, right? Well, let's fix that then. These guys are going to build that for me. And that is going to help me out a lot. I'm just going to wait patiently for them to construct that. And while they do... There we go. Land expansion card. Kaboom. All of a sudden, I have access to a lot of other areas. And that's on fire for some reason. So they build me a shrine, and my shrine burns down. I feel real sa really satisfied with my followers building me a burning shrine. Hit box on those, uh... Things doesn't seem all that good, but we're gonna we're gonna live with it. Okay, come on, camera. There we go. Let's open up some of these. So we got some furs. We're gonna use that for some of the um, social technologies. Let's keep on getting a couple here. There's a tree, so I can access this one. More furs. Some pita bread. Mud bricks. A stone hammer. We're getting them all. And the nice thing about stickers now is that you can't really screw yourself out of stuff all that much anymore. Shrine monument. Or we've got a monument now. Shrine of capacity gives plus one occupancy to uh, all houses within its perimeter, which is kind of nice. It's not, it's not the replacement for the settlement, though. We do have settlements again. Okay, I want to get to that one. Collect all the stuff because we got a lot of technologies to use actually. Mud bricks. Got a couple more, but I'm actually out of belief, and this thing will not stop honking at me until I actually fill that belief up. So, let's start doing stuff. So, let's start spending some of the pita bread to get the follower upgrade. Followers will form friendships. Okay, now we can get the abode by spending on that. And notice that it doesn't matter what I spend now as long as it's in the correct category. So it doesn't matter if I sp if I go and collect all of these stickers right now, as far as I can tell, because uh, we're going to be trying to capacity first. So it doesn't matter if I spend all of these stickers, because as long as they are the correct type, I'll be good. Because we just unlocked the followers will form friendships, which is actually uh, one of my favorite upgrades right now. The mud cabin is available. That's going to be a tier two upgrade. So I, I need a bigger. Um, plots of lands to do that, and then the monument for the Shrine of Capacity. Now, at this point, you're meant to be able to access the Shrine of Capacity. That's something you're supposed to be able to do. So, we're gonna have to use that. But what I need... is, uh... I need some space to actually get some houses going. Let's see if we can get some stuff going on here. We'll eventually fill in all of this underwater nonsense we got going on here. But the problem here is that the underwater nonsense takes a lot of belief. And I'll show you that once we actually get some belief and once I get all of these resources. Yeah, that sound that you're hearing? The, you know, you done screwed up, son, sound? That's not going to go away anytime soon. So we're just, we're waiting on belief right now. That is our primary concern. Can't do anything without belief. I could get all of these, uh, I could get the Shrine of Capacity, but not without belief. You're starting to see a trend here, I think. I can't terraform up here without belief. Right now, I'm stuck to the shallows and on the sand. I gotta remember, let's pop these so that sound goes away. I gotta remember to, uh, do slow, almost painting-like movements. More police popping up. You'll notice the followers are actually coming out to say hi to each other. God, this is taking a belief. We got stuff going on over here, but I can't tell what it is. It looks like a big, big shrine. This guy's sitting on the edge of the water. They will also go monkey around in, uh, and I mean that literally, in um, trees. Okay, let's close that up. Notice how much belief this took, just to close that up. 
That was a lot of belief just now. Let's go ahead and close this up. Excellent. This guy over here has a campfire going on, and others will join him at that campfire. Okay, so we're running out of belief again. It's always a run for belief. Okay, guys, well, we're going to, uh... We're going to drop a statue, Shrine of Capacity, and we're going to drop it right... Hmm. Right here? I don't have space for that. I gotta drop it in the middle of a place where there's a lot of houses. Like, th these houses are not arranged particularly good. Okay, let's drop it right here. What this will do is every... You can kind of see where the, um... Where that little light radiates. But every house within its, uh, radius suddenly has the ability to gain one more dude. See? Plus one. But we, right now, we have to wait for them to actually, uh, prepare, basically. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait patiently. I don't want to build up here right now. Because, uh, I'm going to have to terraform all that crap anyways. So we're going to wait. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys next time.